What's up everyone? I'm Matt with Ozark Overland Adventures and today is a garage day. I've got some projects that have been piling up in the garage for both the Gladiator and the Wrangler and today I'm finally gonna knock out two of them. Um, I have got full sets of skid plates. This is for the Gladiator. Uh, this over here in the wrapper is for the Wrangler. They are from Asphere 4x4. I met these guys at the Moore Expo, was very impressed with their product. It is all aluminum skid plates, so they are very lightweight. And the price was really impressive for the entire set of Gladiator skid plates. Um, I think right now they're on sale for like $750 or something like that. Um, $715, $750, I'm not exactly sure. But somewhere in that uh, mid $700 price range, which for a full set of aluminum skids, I mean, that's crazy good. Now, to be honest, I have never run aftermarket skid plates before. I've never really felt a compelling need to do so. However, um, we are traveling a lot more. I am wheeling the Gladiator especially a lot more than I did my Wrangler. And I just want the peace of mind that I've got extra protection up under there, especially for the transfer case skid and the, the fact that Wranglers and Gladiators do not come with any type of engine skid. There is nothing under there to protect the oil pan. And I mean, you slip off a rock wrong, on an obstacle, um, hitting that oil pan is definitely a possibility and I do not want to have to worry about that when we are out on the trail, especially when we are doing this full time, which we'll be doing in, in uh, about three years. So um, that's my project for today is get these skid plates on. Should be super simple. They are bolt on. Pretty much if you know how to use a socket set, uh, you can install these all by yourself. They're, they're pretty easy. So uh, let's get at it. Ozark Overland Adventures is proudly supported by The More Expo, the Midwest's number one adventure travel consumer expo. Artemis Overland Hardware. They have one of the largest selections of overlanding gear available. Big Iron Overland Rally, where Overland Expo meets music festival. Shop Overland Apparel, your source for Ozark Overland Adventure merchandise and more. Open Road Four Wheel Drive, makers of affordable, high quality winches and recovery gear. Outback RV of Texas, the best place for overland adventure trailers. And Moon, makers of the Moonshade portable awning. I'm just starting at the front, working my way back. They, uh, I mean, they make this super simple. All the hardware is included. And in a couple spots, you just use the factory mounting hardware. make it super easy because there's already existing bolts here that they include nuts to secure it on so one side goes there one side goes here and then the other side secures down here in factory locations and that protects your very precious oil pan and trans lines um, exhaust they really couldn't have made it any easier than this Let's get it on. Ah, let's get this on here. Finger tight. Ah, 
I mean, that fits so well. That's crazy. They did a very good job. I am impressed. All right, that's on there. Now let's put these in the factory holes that it goes in. Right there, right there. Ugh. Okay, one. Two. All right. And that's going to use those factory holes that I can access here. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's great. Break that, tighten those up. All right, this is actually like super easy. Let me show you how well that fits up there. I mean, it's just a perfect fit on that, uh, that, I guess that's a motor mount, body mount, I'm not sure what that is. Some mount, engine mount, somehow. And then this one on this side, um, I mean, that's just super clean. Honestly, the only thing I wish they did was replace these with something a little more flush mounted. Um, because these are obviously going to get beat up and banged on rocks, but this should make a much smoother. I mean, look at all that extra protection up in here. I mean, this is this is now protecting the transmission much better than just this silly little crossbar here. Um, exhaust is protected. Um, I, that's awesome. Oil pan is protected. All right, all you got to do is get this tightened up, and I'll be good to go. For the transfer case skid, you've got these two shims here. If you have the 2 liter turbo or the 3.6, you use both shims. If you have a JL with the 3.6 and e-torque, you just use one spacer. And since I've got the normal 3.6 in the Gladiator, I'm going to use both. We have the e-torque in Keras, so I'll just use the one. The back side actually has these two factory locations already there, which makes it super easy. Got it. I think I'm started. It's kind of like got it. All right, transfer case skid, done. I like how it gives a, a nice lip here. So as you're dragging over rocks, you've got that. You've got these pieces here that protect the edges of the bolts. Um, I just think that's, uh, that's a lot better than the factory skid plate underneath here. It's a nice, a very nice fit. I'm good, how are you? Oh, I appreciate it. There's that. All right, let's see here. That goes there. That goes there. 
can do this. This is really diff This is a lot easier if you had a second set of hands. But I can balance some of these pretty good. Done. Got that one. Everything is done. Now I'm just tightening all the uh, bolts up. Just a little difficult to work. Well, I got it done. That uh, it wasn't too bad by myself. It would have been easier if I'd had another little, you know, set of hands under there, or yeah, maybe if I'd used a jack to hold the gas tank skid. The gas tank skid was was definitely the most challenging. Some of those bolts are just hard to get to. Um, but it's done. And honestly, I cannot wait to scratch the crap out of these things at in the Ozarks, off-road park, Moab, wherever we end up going later this year. I, uh, I'm looking forward to, to just beating on these skid plates because that's what they're for. And so obviously I can't give you a, a, a review of the skid plates um and, until i use them so hit subscribe and follow along on our adventures and i'll keep you updated on the asphere 4x4 aluminum skids um they do look really nice and that they are nice and smooth under the belly and i think they're going to function very well most importantly i mean if you don't order any other skid plate for your jeep jk jt jl Toyota, Nissan, they make skid plates for, for a ton of brands. Make sure your engine, your oil pan is protected. Um, that was always my weak link, and so far I've been lucky. But now, it, now it's good. So anyway, like the video if you would. Uh, like I said, subscribe to find out uh, how they do. Uh, if you're interested in Ozark Overland Adventures merchandise, check out shopoverlandapparel.com. And if you, you like the content that we're putting out, you're finding it helpful, inspiring, all that good stuff, and you want to support us in a tangible way, check out our Patreon. Link is in the description. You get access to all of our GPS data. We also do some, some special things for our patrons. We've got some special content there. And uh, that's it. Uh, now I'm going to install the, um, and there's my wife right there. And there's, there's our new puppy. There's our new Frenchie. Um, now I'm going to get the skid plates installed on her JL, and thanks for watching.